Hello guys, welcome to a new Dash video. It's Monday, 6.44 p.m. We just got our first order from Taco Bell. Um, we're still on earn by time. Just trying to get my acceptance rate up high since it's the end of the month. Um, I'm already above, I'm at like 74, but we're just gonna keep going. Yeah, why not? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, it was windy, really windy. It's died down a little bit, it's still a little bit windy, but we waited till about 6.30 to come out. Um, so we're a little bit later than usual, but we got an order pretty quick, so we're going to get this one dropped off. It's a lot of food. They got a meal for four, a meal for two, and then a couple other burritos on the side. So lots of things. It's two big bags, and it's a hand it to me. So we will see what the order turns into. Just got the McDonald's order dropped off. Uh, I saw two new dashers in McDonald's. There's so many new dashers, it's crazy. But anyway, uh, got that one dropped off and they sent me a stack to KFC and Subway, which are right next to each other. But the drop-offs are kind of far apart, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just busy and there's no one else to pick up the orders. I don't know, kind of weird. But normally when I get drop uh, stacks, they're fairly close most of the time. But anyway, I guess we'll get it done. Uh, we're on our way to, I believe, KFC first. So both orders were ready when I got there. Pretty quick pickups. Uh, they wanted me to go drop off the subway order first, which I picked up the subway order second. And it's the furthest away, so I don't understand why they wanted to do that. So I switched tasks to drop off the KFC one first, since it's closer and they ordered first. And, like, yeah, it's hot food where the sandwiches are cold food. Um, so I would think, I don't know, DoorDash just doesn't make sense to me sometimes with the way they do things. But luckily we're able to switch tasks and deliver whichever one we want to first. Um, there's a shorter delivery time frame on the other one, but I think we have plenty of time to get them both done before that. So I think we're good. But we're going to go get the KSC one dropped off and then we'll go drop off the subway. Got both orders dropped off. I don't know how well we filmed either one because the first one was to a business and there's like eight buildings or something maybe more to that business and she said she'd meet us at the first one i texted her to let her know we were there and she kind of walked up from a weird spot so i don't know if justin was able to film that and then the second one there was a dog and y'all know we're paranoid about dogs now after all the encounters we've had um so he was trying to film but also watch out for the dog for me so uh either way we got them both dropped off and it was pretty good i think it turned into 15 bucks which is more than it would have been on earn per order, earn per offer, whatever it's called. Um, so in this case, earn by time was much better for those orders. McDonald's is the next pickup spot. He missed his punk ass. And they're flirting with all the men and shit. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing and shit. <sighs> just burns me up. Look at her. She thinks I don't know. She's in there cheating on me. Okay, we are at Taco Bell. They sent me another stack order. Um, one of the orders just got put up there. The other one is not ready yet. They all got, or they both, both orders. They got Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Here is a controversial thing. I hate Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Justin loves it. Everybody in town apparently loves it because that's all the drinks that I get from Taco Bell are all Baja Blast. Every once in a while, a Pepsi. Other than that, Baja Blast. I, I don't like it. Blast. It tastes like poison to me. It doesn't taste good. Like, it just tastes so weird. I will say, whenever you get the zero one or whatever. It is, yeah, when they is, when they run out of the regular, they, they just, just give you give zero. They don't ask. They yeah, just give it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, it's not good. But yeah, I don't like it. It's gross to me. Let me know if you're like me. Because I feel like I'm the only person in the world that doesn't like Baja Blast. Alright guys, we dashed for two hours and made $58.58. That's a pretty good night. And we were on earn by time. That's crazy super crazy usually or by time is nothing but no tip orders but i think every order i got tonight had pretty good tips on them like 
three dollar minimum which is pretty good for our area you know um so i'm not mad it's been a really great night but we're gonna go ahead and call it quits and we will be back out tomorrow did your acceptance rate go i don't know i'll have to check it i'll let you guys know i'll put i'll put it on the screen here if it did go up trying to get you guys the details but you don't know okay there. i'm putting it on the screen for them they know right now we don't even know and they know that's kind of crazy so i'm just sitting on the couch and i wanted to let you guys hear how crazy the wind is today it was like this yesterday too but luckily it died down around 6 30 or so and we were able to get out and dash but let's see if you guys can hear how crazy it is that noise outside i don't know if you can hear it is the mailboxes the lids flopping around out there but yeah it is wild there's so many fires all around um and it's really scary and really sad and the wind is supposed to last all day long um all night long so it's really crazy um hopefully they somehow are able to get these fires out um I'm so thankful for the firefighters and all the volunteers working to get the fires out. There's so many of them. I don't even know how many people have come from different areas to come and try to help put out the fires. It's crazy. But I just wanted to show how windy it is. Hopefully you can even hear it or else I just sound like an idiot. But um, if it's going to keep up like this all night long, we probably will not dash. So we'll have to see how it is in a little while. Okay, guys. So after that last clip that you just saw me talking about the wind, I had no idea what was about to come. Um, so there are fires all over the area. It has been a really scary situation over the past 24 hours. Um, it's the next day from when that clip was filmed. We did not dash last night. It was impossible. So after I filmed that clip, I was sitting on the couch scrolling through Facebook and one of the Facebook pages for our area posted about how schools were getting out early. We were expecting a wind change um, to blow smoke and the fires potentially toward us. Sorry, my heater just kicked on. There's a cold front now after all the craziness going on. I swear Texas weather is insane but anyway one of the pages posted that schools were getting out early um because they were expecting smoke to blow in from the surrounding fires and so i texted my husband because he worked about 45 minutes from where we live most of the time he's in that area and i was like letting him know like hey schools are getting out early they're expecting the smoke to blow over into our area you might think about coming home early if you can just in case kind of give him a, giving him a heads up you know so about 15 minutes later, he calls me and he's like, yeah, you're right. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and come home. And I'm so glad that he did, that he did decide to come home because on his way home, an area that he had to drive through, there was a fire nearby and it was like a blackout for a couple minutes of him driving through the smoke to get home. Luckily it only lasted a couple minutes and then it was clear again, but he was saying that that was scary and I'm just glad that he made it home. Um, he got home and about an hour went by we kept checking you know updates trying to make sure we were safe and everything was okay um and then it was probably about 4 30 um and they were saying okay about 30 minutes from now winds are going to shift and you guys are going to start seeing a lot of smoke heads up you know you might want to get some go bags ready or just be prepared you know be on alert so We've never, like, we've lived in Texas our whole lives, and there's been fires all around us all the time, but we've never had one this close that I remember or that I know of. Um, and so, you know, we weren't exactly sure what to do. Um, we've never been in that situation. So we were like, okay, let's pack a few things that are important to us, get some things together, and we'll put it by the door. That way, if we have to go, we can take it with us and get out of here. So anyway we kept looking outside was watching the sky and the smoke was getting closer and closer as we could see but it didn't look too too crazy so we were like okay let's make some hot dogs we luckily had a quick meal to make um hot dogs don't take very long as you guys know so we come inside i grab the hot dogs out of the fridge put them in a pan literally like two minutes go by we look outside again and it is completely orange we are completely covered in smoke and so at this time we me and justin look at each other and we're like should we leave like what should we do so right when we asked each other that we got an alert on our phone saying 
voluntary evacuations for our area and we were like oh my god this is so scary to us so we immediately grab our things justin has asthma so being in the smoke is not good for him i mean it's not good for anyone right um so we were like let's get out of here so at that time we're loading the car i'm texting my family i'm telling them we're leaving i'm telling them you know they need to leave if they don't feel comfortable and so all of my family is leaving we we get out of town it takes a while so many people hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of people are leaving and there's only one exit out of town because all the other roads are blocked because of the fires so everyone is going the same way out of town and so traffic is insane i did film a couple clips um the clips don't even do it justice i feel like it was so much more dark in person um but yeah it was terrifying you guys we have never been in a situation like that we had ash like ashes were falling from the sky we had them all over our face in our hair on all of the stuff we were lugging to the car um we were like tmi but we're like blowing black out of our nose our ears have like ashes in them um and it was just really really scary we literally drove like two and a half hours um south and the smoke caught up to us and still came to where we were um and it was just really crazy by the time we got to where we were we sat around and just tried to like catch our breath and just relax for a little bit we got some drinks went to the bathroom met up with family they cleared our area and said that we were able to come back home um if we wanted to so our area made it out okay um unfortunately a lot of areas around us did not um and it's so very sad there the fire that is north of us that came down close to us has burned 500,000 acres and is still burning um it is insane um so many people have lost their homes so much land has been burned and it's so sad and so devastating for so many people so we are truly blessed and thankful that you know our area is okay um the fire did get really close to town uh if i can find it i'll insert a picture of the fire that was like so close to our walmart our walmart is on the north end of town um and you can just see flames right right next to the walmart so i'm really surprised that it wasn't a mandatory evacuation but i'm thankful that they were able to keep it from coming into town and um we're just very lucky so appreciative of the firefighters and the volunteers and everyone that helped protect our little town and um that are still out there fighting these fires they are beyond amazing people and i could never do what they do and it's just it's so crazy that there's people out there that are brave enough and are selfless enough to do what they do and i just i couldn't imagine doing that um it was scary enough just being in the smoke and not knowing what was going to happen and it's just crazy and i'm so grateful for our community because we have so many people helping those affected by the fires donating food water supplies whatever it is they need we are all coming together and it's just really amazing to see and i'm just so grateful to have the community that we have as devastating as it is it's also very amazing to see everybody come together and take care of one another and um yeah anyway i just wanted to share that with you guys it has been a crazy past 24 hours but we are so blessed and thankful to just be here and have our homes um because a lot of people don't and it's it's so so sad with all of that being said we will be dashing later tonight and i will include that in this video even though it's already long because i've been talking a lot but i just i couldn't just go back to filming like nothing happened because that was a very scary situation anyway justin is at work he just has to see one patient so we will get out and dash here in a little while and we will take you guys with us all right guys well it is after six o'clock we i did get a notification excuse me earlier from doordash saying that one or more areas that i dash in have been impacted and i don't know you guys can see it but basically saying because of the fires, they are not allowing people to dash. I tried to dash tonight and it did pop up saying that we cannot dash because of the wildfires. Um, which is kind of crazy because, I mean, I appreciate that they're trying to keep everybody safe. Um, but like our area, there's no like threat to our area right now or anything. Um, there's still a fire burning like to our north. What would it be? East? <laughs> I'm not good at directions. Yeah. Um, but it is not impacting our direct area right now. And, you know, there's probably people that 
could really use deliveries right now. So that's kind of crazy. Um, but anyway, we do have Uber Eats. Uh, I finally got verified and everything. There's only a few restaurants here and I don't know how many people do Uber Eats. I know of one one lady that used to do DoorDash that now does Uber Eats with there being only a few restaurants and other people doing it as well. I don't know if we'll get any orders, but we're going to try. And I do also have Spark on, but again, <laughs> Spark doesn't really like me lately and I haven't gotten anything on Spark. I don't think this month, maybe at the beginning of the month, I can't remember, but we haven't gotten anything in a while, but we do have them on. If we get any orders, we will um, let you know. So to my surprise, we did get an Uber Eats order. However, it's going north of town and that's where the fires are. And we don't know like how far north it's safe to go, if any at all. So I declined it. It was an $11 order. Um, and then they sent it again for $25 and I have no it's crazy, like I wanted to take it so bad, but I'm not going up near the fires, you know, just to get $25. So, um, I did not take it, but we did just get a Walmart pickup, curbside pickup. It's $9, um, and we know where this is going. We deliver on the street a couple of times, and so it should be pretty easy. I think it's two six pack bottles of like Coke and Dr. Pepper, and then a few of like, the Cosmic Brownies and Little Debbie snacks, and that's it. So, should be pretty easy. Well, shoot, guys, we got a message. I think I screenshotted it. Um, basically saying our order was canceled, and I would receive uh, partial earnings, which is probably going to be like a dollar or something, I'm sure. Um, we wasted like 15 minutes waiting for the order, driving over here and waiting for the order. They just sent me another Walmart order. We were wondering if maybe curbside orders are not working tonight for some reason, because like, you know, DoorDash is shut down and a bunch of the restaurants aren't um, open, so I'm not sure, but we're gonna try it again. We just got another one, $16 for two drop-offs, but it's just a curbside, so um, we've never done a double order before, so we'll see how it goes. You all right? They bought you? As you can see from the last clip, those dogs were freaking attacking me. Um, I have delivered to that lady so many times and those dogs have come out before. They have like sniffed, you know, sniffed me and they have barked, but they've never like jumped on me or tried to attack me or anything like that. So I was definitely not expecting that. Um, I wish I would have screenshotted her note. Um, because she had said in the notes that she had dogs, but they were friendly. Um, and they definitely were not friendly. But, yeah. Like I said, I've gone there so many times before. Or I would have been more, like, careful about it, probably. Um, but yeah, luckily they didn't bite me. They just jumped on me. They did bite at my clothes. Like, one of the smaller dogs was, like, hanging off of my pant leg. Um... But yeah, it's just really frustrating to deal with. I don't understand why people don't put their dogs up. Um, these people had a doggy door, um, but you can like shut the doggy door. And even if not, they should have put the dogs away knowing that we were coming to drop off an order, you know? It drives me nuts how people are so irresponsible with their pets. Um, and it's just frustrating to have to deal with. But anyway, I did report her to um walmart spark um here's a little bit of the chat of the conversation that we had i blocked out like her name and address and stuff but um yeah i did report that the dogs were attacking me and that i didn't feel safe and hopefully they will do something with that hopefully they remove her um from being able to order uh if i ever do get her order again i will just leave it at her gate i will not go inside the fence again and leave it at her door so she just gonna have to deal with that if she's gonna continue to let her dogs be out attacking people so we did get an extra five dollars uh there was a five dollar per order that you accepted uh incentive on spark so we did get an extra five dollars for that um so that was nice at least um and i did get two dollars and five cents for the order that was canceled so i knew it wouldn't gonna wasn't gonna be much but 
anyway that is pretty much it for this video guys i know it was kind of a rough one so thank you for sticking through it i did oh also i did see a post that said doordash is probably going to be down until march 1st um which is friday uh they said they're gonna reassess i guess the situation and decide if they're gonna allow dashers to go back out or not on friday so i'll keep you updated with what we find out but yeah that's all i know for now so Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you all enjoyed the video and we will see you all in the next one.